Hey everybody, the show continues. War Machine Character Spotlight. They actually gave him what character spotlight. Heck yeah. They normally only do these one to see once a season. They actually did two this time. Military veteran James Rhodes is ready for combat in his advanced armor. Ir iterating Iterating, there we go, iterating. Upon the arsenal of Tony Stark. Created designs to create the wool machine. Yeah, I've had some crazy freaking play today, mate. Apparently English is hard now. Ha <laughs> War machine. On reveal until the end of next turn. Nothing can stop you from playing cards anywhere. Brothers in armor. With his own suit of armor, James Rhodes forged a heroic identity, either flying solo or with the Avengers. They may not see eye to eye, but James Rhodey, Rhodes, and Tony Stark have formed a close camaraderie. Since they first met, Rhodes provides a helping hand in a fight. With the help of his war machine armor, he can level the playing field. When this is all over, Tony, we need to talk about some upgrades for my armor. Upgrades? Um, major upgrades. I'm starting to I see a future in this saving the world business. Very nice. The walking arsenal. War Machine's firepower capabilities are deadly and frequently increasing, much like Iron Man. War Machine can lift a massive amount of weight. The War Machine computers provide Rose with all the information he needs about a target or an ally. In case he needs to make a fast escape, War Machine's flight enables him to make a speedy getaway. War Machine's unparalleled combat tech is represented in Marvel Snap by his unique effect. On reveal until the end of next turn, nothing can stop you from playing cards anywhere. Yeah, see here's them playing them in Torm's Sanctum. And in a Professor X, which makes no sense, he can still psychically stop him, but I guess he's got a special helmet like um, Onslaught. Well, I guess, yeah, I think Onslaught has one too, but on um, Juggernaut, I mean. That's cool, that's what his ability looks like. War Machines, one of a kind technology, enables you to play your cars at any location. The f turn following is on reveal effect. That means you can overcome the pesky effects of the Vault, Big House, Crimson Cosmos, Sanct Sanctum Sanctorum, Keelan, Morrock, and Flooded Locations. Additionally, cards with the effects that would normally disable them from being playable... Wait, what? Such as the Infinite or Ebony Mob will become playable the turn after War Machine is revealed? What? I'm super glad I read this. I had no idea War Machine is that insanely powerful. I should have him in my deck rather than Jessica Jones, quite possibly. That is bonkers good. My Infinite deck. That is bonkers good. You allow Infinite to be played? So you just turn five, War Machine gets your Juggernaut, your Infinite, I mean. That's crazy, which then he could be turned into 12 power by Shuri. Wow. War Machine might really spice up the meta hugely. That's one of the biggest problems of that Infinite deck, is that the fact you can't play zones like other decks. This would literally give you that ability as well. Absolutely wild stuff. That is wild. Anyway, here's the other way. This War Machine decks in Marvel Snap. This is the other news article that they have uh, 
show it here. These are these right here. Just make that clear, I'm not just looking at random stuff from the escapist. <laughs> Shout out to them though, this is by Snap themselves. Tony's best bud is finally arriving in Marvel Snap. That's right, War Machine is here. And with him, a direct counter to lock style decks that may bring more balance to the card battler. Oh, bull crud, those decks really? I mean, a lot of people are using Storm, I'll give you that, but Profex seems to have completely disappeared. I haven't seen him at all in, I don't think I've seen him at all in Gold or, well, I'm about to enter Infinity too, in Conquest mode. Here are the best War Machine decks in Marvel Snap. Here's other War Machine stuff. I'm going to have these in the description. These two websites, too, if you want to come look at this. War Machine is a 4 energy 6 power card, but the ability that reads on reveal until the end of next turn. Nothing can stop you from playing cards anywhere. This effect is similar to that of Jeff, the 2 power 3 cost card that isn't restricted, as Jeff is considered the best 2 drop in the game. You can imagine there's some hype surrounding War Machine's on reveal effect. Yeah, I don't even have Jeff. Also, this is an exclamation point should be here. They actually type out that. <laughs> but that's okay. War Machine allows you to play into locked out locations like a Professor X lock lane or when flooded by storm. Furthermore, he allows you to bypass locations like Sanctorum, Sanctum Sanctorum. The turn after he's played. More importantly, War Machine allows cards with play conditions such as Ebony Ma, Infinite to be played regardless of their effect. Yes, you can drop Infinite on turn 6 if you play War Machine on turn 5. That is so OP! What?! War Machine's effect is not reciprocal, so your opponent cannot use it, make use of it, unless they play their own War Machine. Best War Machine decks in Marvel Snap. War Machine is a I love how these pictures didn't load. What happened to these pictures? Is it because this is happening? Oh my gosh, it doesn't even show the picture, the decks for you guys. Maybe it will on your computer if you don't have an ad block on. I don't know. Machines affect this way. Let me just check real quick. Let me just check real quick. It's like the whole point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Bring you to the gameplay, just because I'm going to use a different browser to see if it doesn't have Adblock. To see what this is saying. It was, it was block. Wait, no? Those pictures just appear to not work! Okay. Let me if they work for you, let me know. But for my Windows 10, these are not displaying. This War Machine decks. War Machine is a card that quite simply will fit into most decks. Much the same way Iron Man, Iron Lad, or Sing Chi can. Especially when played in conquest mode. There are two styles of decks, however that I believe make for the best War Machine decks in Marvel Snap, a more traditional lockout list, and an infinite cheat list. Let's take a look at the former first. Nebula, Echo, Goose, Jeff, so they put the exclamation point. Medusa, Storm, Cosmo, Miss Marvel, why she doesn't link. War Machine, Vision, Aliath, Doctor Doom. Several websites and streamers have theory crafted a similar list, calling this the War Machine, the Warlock deck. Though I put my own spin on it by including Echo and Miss Marvel for further control and power output. Respectively, who's that? Who wrote this? This is Lowell Bell's perspective. I think this is it right here. Goose and Storm can keep your opponent out of certain lanes leading into the final turn. Unless they play their own War Machine, allowing you to play Ollie off on the final turn if you have priority. Though, Doctor Doom is an alternative, alternate play line. 
can also steal cubes. Expect some variation of this deck to become incredibly popular. Cheating out Infinite has been one of the dream plays since Marvel Snap's inception. People just want to cheat! What is this nonsense? And with the release of War Machine, it got quite a bit easier to do so. Most people are theory crafting decks that have you playing Hope Summers into War Machine to drop out Infinite on turn 6. Okay. On... On turn 5... Or War Machine on turn 5 to drop an Ebony Ma beside the Infinite. Well, that certainly seems like a powerful line. I believe that play is way too telegraphed to rely on... to rely on comply. Complete? Is he trying to say completely? Comply? Complete? What is this word? Comply, I guess? So, Alyss will... Magic... Alyss with Magic and Psylocke packages a backup makes sense in this war cheat deck. Enter number 5 and bring these pictures in. Which is super silly. Sunspot, Nebula, Ebony Maw, Psylocke, Armor, Magic, Kyera, Hope Summers, War Machine, Cold Obsidian, She-Hulk, Infinite. If the Hope Summers Infinite... If the Hope Summers into the Infinite line doesn't quite pan out, this list of the best War Machine decks in Marvel Snap has two backup plans. Magic into skipping turn 6 to drop a She-Hulk, and the Infinite on turn 7 or playing Psylocke on turn five and skipping turn, I mean on turn four and skipping turn five to do the same. Sunspot becomes integral here as he can absorb quite a lot of unspent energy. Club Sorting is a great addition. He's just completely overpowered, as he can be played anywhere if War Machine is played or simply dropped um, behind Sunspot or Nebula. That's pretty incredible. He does he removes the, the downside of Club City and making him even more overpowered. Pretty unbelievable. Uh, War Machine counters in Marvel Snap. Other than sniping War Machines on reveal with the priority Cosmo, there aren't a lot of counters for the Iron Man look-alike. Perhaps the best counter will be to play your own War Machine, especially if your opponent is playing a lot of lockout style list. Otherwise, saying Chi and Aliop can delete some of the infinite plays War Machine will, te will telegraph when played. Who is War Machine? You likely know War Machine as a major character in the Iron Man films and a minor one in the Avengers flicks. Also known as James Rhodes, a renowned aviator engineer, War Machine is in the comics is one of Tony Stark's closest friends and has taken over as Iron Man when the alcoholic playboy otherwise couldn't. His iron suit differs from Stark's as it has many more heavy weaponry and thus utility for every situation, which is perhaps where Second Dinner drew inspiration for his Marvel Snap effect. Is War... Is War Machine worth your spotlight catch keys or collector's tokens? Yes, very much so. War Machine, even more so than Mockingbird, is likely the best card released in March 2024, as he opens up a ton of deck possibilities now, and going forward, both a tech card and one to build decks around, War, Mach War Machine will likely be considered for the for just about every deck moving forward, unless he gets nerfed in some capacity, which is a definite possibility. And those are the best War Machine decks in Marvel. Snap. Well, there you have it, everybody. Can you say I get a hold of him? He's in the shop. Wait, here's the cool shield, too. There he is, he's 6,000, he's a Series 5. You can alternatively get him. This way, too. I could guarantee you get him, but... I already have Silver Surfer, and I already have Silk. Although, these are incredible arts. And yeah, there he is, and then here's this other one. Pretty freaking awesome. Anyways, see you next time. Only one person has retreated in all this time. Hey, at least it's happening at all. <laughs> see, you know, they just don't retreat against me because I think they know who I am and I never retreat. Uh, but whatever. That is what it is.
And yeah, he would be crazy good in this deck, ditching one of these four costs for him. I could maybe Jubilee, but I doubt it. It's probably... It depends how much Kyra they have, if saying she has value. Uh, but it's probably Jessica Jones that would be ditched for him. Although he's weaker than her, but he also could be then played anywhere, so he could maybe work with you too, to a certain degree. Because you could put him down, and then if not in the same zone as him, that would not be that great, but Jessica Jones. Anyway, see you next time. Like, sub, and do all the stuff, but you don't have to do it at all. Later. Oh, you can subscribe, share, and check the description at the very bottom. And I do read that stuff. Do you, are, did you did you want to get War Machine or something like that? I would love to hear from that from you guys. How good you guys think he is? He sounds very overpowered to me, like game ruining, but overpowered. But I don't know. It is just the next turn. So anyway, see you next time. Later.